Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, YouTube fam, welcome to Aruba. Just pulled up to my hotel, getting ready to go check in. Give you guys a quick tour. It is the Marriott Stellaris Casino. Oh, look at the little hummingbird. Can you see it? So let me give you guys a quick room tour of Marriott Stellaris property. Just entered, you have a closet, plenty of space and hangers, robes, and you have your bathroom here, and a shower and toilet. And this is a little mini bar for coffee, and a little refrigerator. Three bottles of water, got a king bed, little sofa, nice size TV, probably with a 50 inch TV. And let's check out the view. That is a nice view of the ocean. Looks like they're working on the pool. Marriott sent the memo that the pool wouldn't be available, so no problem when you got that beautiful pool out there. All right, it's time to go to the beach. Boy, it got changed. Go to the beach. It's hot. No clouds. Only got a good three hours of sun left. Probably like 85 degrees. Let me show you the beach here short. Greetings, you guys, from Aruba. Look at this beach. So pretty. And the water is mad warm, too. Let's go take a dip. This water is warmer than Anguilla and St. Martin. Oh, man. So I'm staying at this property behind it, Marriott Stellaris. This is where I always stay when I come to Aruba. Here are Brickle Bay Beach Club, which is more of a budget friendly place. This one goes for about 400 a night and it's right next door to the Ritz Carlton over there in the yellow. And this is on Palm Beach in Aruba, guys. Stick around, I'm gonna show you guys why I come down here a lot. Signing out. So here at the Marriott property, when you're out on the beach, all you have to do is scan that with your phone. And then you scroll the menu, find out what you wanna eat, press send, and the food and beer will come. Pretty neat. So we got a sandwich de pollo, papas fritas, otherwise known as a chicken sandwich and french fries for my American brethren. was a successful day at the beach, but I'm tired after that red-eye flight from LA to Miami and then to Miami here. Just came out to the beach real quick to kind of cool off, get in the water. So I'm gonna take a nap, try to catch the sunset in an hour, and then go to the gym and then hit the streets. Y'all know what time it is hotel has a couple of stores you can buy some stuff if your bags don't show up or you need some liquor beer I'm gonna get some beer this hotel has a Ruth Chris steakhouse inside 
I don't eat beef, so I'm not gonna partake in that. Check it out, YouTube fam. Just woke up, it's about nine o'clock. Gonna go get a quick workout in. Trying to stay on track with my workouts while I travel. You know, that's the main thing. You know, we wanna keep some gains going or some momentum. Gotta stay in the gym. Gotta stay in the gym. Doing some kind of party. quick 30 minute walk uphill level about 12 constant and of course the only one in the gym at 9 p.m. but hey I walked through there I'm the only one that looked in shape priorities guys successful shoulder day and 15 minutes of cardio now we go shower up and head up out of here. Once I figure out how to open this door, I think you press this button. <laughs> I can get out of the damn gym. All right, guys, shower. Go uh, see if I can get some food at this late hour catch up to you in a little bit so we're all changed ready to go out see if we can get some food it's probably let's see 10 20 might be to get lucky get something to eat that's not fast food let's try Pretty good pasta here. Gianni's. So this is what I'm gonna do. It says it's open at midnight, so I got lucky. Last time I was here, shit was closing at 10. But it's a lot busier this time around during the COVID days. So let's get some pasta and then we're gonna go get some drinks set the scene with the little pasta with capers and olives spaghetti got my tequila on the rocks no Italian beer and my bottle of water nice little meal before we get going out this other club called Gusto it's usually good definitely not fucking with Fat Tuesday's commercialized ass shit get a shisha have some drinks usual you know what it is guys pumping out this content man I appreciate y'all close to a thousand subscribers 
maybe by the time this video comes out i might be over the thousand subscriber mark thanks to you guys keep on watching they have all kind of signs that you can take pictures at it's like 12 30. looks like the crowd's winding down this place used to go off to like fucking three, four, five in the morning. Now it shuts down at like one. Not cool. So this is the parking lot you guys can park at if you rent a car, which I highly suggest. It's right across from the Hilton. You can park here, do your thing at the parties, the bars, restaurants, and then go back to your hotel. Always rent a car, always leave the property. The property is cool, but you don't get any culture or fun outside of the property with regular tourists that are doing the same shit. So yeah, suggestion, leave the property. All right, I'm signing out for night number one. Hey, good morning, good morning. Excuse the noise from the pool getting worked on, but it is a beautiful day in Aruba. Look at that. So pretty. Gonna get a workout in now doing a little fasted uh, cardio and then we'll go get a nice lunch let me do some red snapper down at the pier pelican restaurant anyway let's get going pre-workout never leave home without oh, gym complete well not gym complete cardio complete now it's time to do a little chest and triceps. Another beautiful day out on Palm Beach. Look at this. So I'm doing intermittent fasting. So it's about to be my first meal of the day. It's about 12, 15, 12, 30. After the gym, I'm gonna take a stroll down to one of the piers here on Palm Beach in Aruba. One of my favorite places so I can get some fried red snapper. Check it out. Shit's about to be bomb, y'all. Place so beautiful. Beautiful white sand beach. Calm water warm water so what you come on vacation for you guys should check this place out i highly recommend it it's probably my 10th 11th time down here in aruba this was my go-to spot during the pandemic you can take boat taxis to go from place to place but I don't mind walking it it's too pretty to get on a boat right now but they come to each property drop you off where you want to be on the beach got a party boat over there guys I had to try that out old pirate boat Smell the food coming from that pier right there is where I'm going to eat. Wait till y'all see this snapper. So this is the spot to eat, guys. If you ever come to Aruba, don't stay on the property. Leave the property. 
in this spot the pelican's nest has the best red snapper i've had so far on this island Served fried red snapper, salad, and a little fries, a little bit of tequila, agua, and a view. of the carcass pretty tasty guys highly recommended lunch was amazing guys now it's time to walk that fish off and go get in the water for a little while Beautiful day out here in Aruba. I've never been out here and it actually rained, so. And you're out of the hurricane belt when you come to this island because you're so far south. You're only like 15 miles from Venezuela. But that gives you a reference point. There's a lot of Venezuelans and Dominicans here as well. But yeah, very worth it. Especially if you're a beach guy or beach lady. Palm trees lined up. Also, the beach is filled with little tour places where you can do parasailing, jet ski, red boats, snorkeling. Yeah full service beach minus the vendors which you might find pretty good you know most people hate that shit I don't mind it's people trying to make a living you know especially the beaches in Brazil they are definitely worth having vendors with all the good foods that you can eat sometimes in Mexico they get a little aggressive with all the drug stuff this beach doesn't have any you don't have to worry about it. So if you're interested or if you're a Marriott Bonvoy member, that's a Marriott property. This is a Marriott property. I think this is the Marriott Ocean Club. And that's the ocean you can buy. And then this is the Marriott Stellaris. And that one on the end is the Ritz Carlton. All a part of the Marriott Bonvoy envelope. Use your points. Take a vacation. And I am sweating like a preacher playing poker. <laughs> it is hot out here, man. I put sunblock on today, so I don't want to get blew up by the sun. But I am back at my property now. And now I will get me some drinks and enjoy the water. Got my shade. Whew. Nice palapa. Marriott provides for you. you stay here. But people come out here and hog them. Put their towels all down. And not even around. So I just remove somebody's stuff. To
successful day at the beach today. As you can see, it's winding down here at the property. But it's still beautiful. Alright, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Jumping in the whip, my Nissan Versa. So I'm gonna head over to Arashi Beach, catch the sunset, maybe have a beer. See how it goes. I think it's about 10 minutes from uh, this property. So when you come out of the property, Marriott, you turn left instead of going to the right where all the hotels are. And then you just take the road all the way out. Some nice houses out here on the beach. Need to rent me one for about a year. <laughs> Since we're over here, we'll go see the California Lighthouse. It's right near Arashi Beach. There's also a restaurant up here. You guys are interested in eating plenty of parking this seems like one of the tourist spots you can also act like you got married at the lighthouse <laughs> Night number two guys here on the island of Aruba see what we can find to eat in town see what's good out here oh, I still have a taste for more pasta but I don't know if I want to go to the same spot let's see this restaurants way more busy tonight than it was when I was there last night There's a line for gelato. Place is always busy. So we're gonna go with Chef Special, another whole red snapper at Fishes and More. Where you gonna eat here 
pretty expensive island though. Just like that guys we're gonna end the night we're gonna walk through the casino see if they have a crap game going on if they have craps I'm gonna be up for a little while but I don't think they have it this late at night they said it was early but if not good night catch you guys tomorrow oh shit they got craps I've been getting some money out the machine damn it Crap table was not good to me. Quick $200 down the drain. It's been a long time since I played, but you know, there's only two people on the table. I was up about three, 400 bucks and then got greedy. You know, that's what happens when you gamble. You get greedy, start gambling with more, especially on craps. Anyway, it's only 200, we'll get it back tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to sign out for the night and get up early in the morning and go to another beach. All right, see y'all. Hey, YouTube fam. Unfortunately, I had to cut this trip to Aruba short due to some uh, issues at home. So we will be ending this video today, two days early. But say goodbye to the beautiful Palm Beach Aruba. We will definitely be back. Peace out. Aruba Strange, this is the only place I've been that be clear customs in America, US customs here in Aruba. So you don't have to do it when you get to Miami or Charlotte. <laughs>